and who wins game three? I'm going to take the Celtics tonight, Skip. I just believe the Celtics are a better team. And it's not by much. Skip, I'm not talking about they're the 96 Bulls. I'm not talking about they're the 17 to 18 of Golden State Warriors. I just believe they're a little deeper. But the problem that they have is that they don't have what you call a, a prototypical point guard. So they turn the ball over at a high rate because you got guys trying to do things that they're not really good at. That's not their expertise. Jalen Brown is really not a ball handler. Jason Tatum is not a facilitator. Marcus Smart is a two master rating as a point, and therefore he doesn't put them in position to get easy shots. So they turn the ball over. Go back and look at game one. They lost in Miami. You go back and look at the game that they had a 15-point lead against Milwaukee, and they lost that one. They lost it with a chance to close it out uh, uh, in game six against Miami because why? 24 turn 20, I think 24 turnovers, 19 steals. They had gave up 15 steals on Sunday. They need to do a better job of taking care of the basketball, and if they do that, I believe they win this game. Not overwhelming, but I think they can win it comfortably. Six to eight points. I got three and a half to play with. Mm -hmm. But I expect Jason Tatum to play, not only play well, but to shoot well. And what we've seen, Skip, in the first game, he didn't shoot well, but he played well. In the next game, he didn't play well, but he shot the ball fairly well. Now he needs to put a complete game together because he is complete. We're going to talk about him a little later because offensively, he has no holes in his game. 38% from the three, he can put the ball on the floor mid-range. He can get to the rim and go over the top of you. Makes about 80-plus percent of his free throws. And he's a, he's a very good defensive player when he puts that in his mind, when he says, you know what, I want to do this. But so for me, Skip, do I think Al Horford is going to give me another two-point virtuoso? I do not. Do I think Marcus Smart is going to give me another two-point, five-turnover game? I do not. If we just get that, can we get 20 points between those two guys? We're going to have a different conversation tomorrow. And I believe they do. I believe they play better than what they showed on Sunday. I believe Jason Tatum gives, me, gives us one of the most complete games in this series thus far. And Jalen Brown does a better job of taking care of the basketball. And he comes to the party. I feel very, very comfortable. Very. I've never, I've never, man. Man, it's like I, like I asked this girl to go to the dance with me. That's how sure I was you was going to say yeah. Because I had already told my sister to go get the tux. That's how uh, certain I was. Get the tux, and I hadn't even asked her yet, because I already know she was going to say yeah. I, already, I feel really good. That's how good I feel about this pick tomorrow. And she said Shannon already have a date. Nah, she, well, she going to have to cancel that one. She was going to have to cancel that date with him. She would go with me. I had me, Skip, I had me some black pants, like a, 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 a lavender jacket, bow tie. Your boy was sharp. Lavender? Lavender! With like a white bow tie? No, no, no. It was black. It was black bow tie. Black slacks. White, you know, white uh, tuck shirt. Uh, uh, a lavender. Mm. Your boy was clean. Your boy was clean. Mm. So I was assured he was going straight to... off the farm into a tux. <laughs> right? There you go, man. <laughs> let me have my moment. Why can't I just have a you moment? You can dress him up, but you can't take him off the farm. I feel really good about this pick, and uh, you, you can okay, you talk about the farm now, but you won't be talking like you're talking big and bad mm -hmm. tomorrow about, uh, about the same time. About the same time. Okay, I am hearing and seeing from across the table <laughs> such supreme confidence. <laughs> you, I'm still curry. I'm still curry when it comes to confidence. <laughs> you, you're over there saying that you're about to put me to sleep. That's it. That, yes, yes. So because of your supreme tux confidence that you have over there, your lavender tux confidence. Yeah. I, I think I deserve at least the three and a half points oh, that no. is the point spread. You proposed... At least the three and a half. You proposed the bet. That's what you told me. I did propose it, but that was 24 hours ago, and now you have slept on it. Yeah. And now, because you're about to put me to sleep tonight, you should at least throw in the three and a half because you, was, you have already gone on record on live national TV on tape as saying Boston will cover at home tonight. Correct? Yeah. And... And they will. So, why wouldn't you just throw in the three? Because they won't matter, right? They won't. I'm testing your level of confidence. I mean, I could do that if I was a nice guy, which I'm not. Mm. I could give you the three. So you it's know what? It's not about being nice. It's about being supremely confident. I am supremely. Having the, the total courage of your convictions. If you do right here, right now, you will give me the three and a half. If you don't, you'll be bop, 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 running scared. Well, I guess I guess they call me Chicken Little. Because mm. <laughs> you're not getting no point. Really? Just like you did me the other day. Huh. So all that talk was just a lot of posing. No, 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 it no. It sounds like it was no. just posing. I'm supremely confident mm. that Jason Tatum 
is going to be JT. I'm supremely confident that Al Horford and Marcus Smart will not combine for four points in 53 minutes. That's what I'm confident about. So you, you are, are not trouble. confident because you will not give me the Extremely. three and a half. I want that on the record. I want the stenographer to take it down. I want all of our faithful audience out there to note that Shannon Sharp is so underconfident in his poser prediction that he will not give me the three and a half points. I want that duly noted. It, it is. And I'm going to have the court reporter read it back to you. Shannon Sharp won the bet of three cases of due, and he did not give Skip Bayless three and a half mm. points. So somebody is running scared, and that's okay. I just <laughs> wanted to expose exactly where your level of confidence, because I think it's more like a three on a scale of ten. No, I think it's eleven. Okay. Now let me make my case for why I believe Golden State will win. You know, you're probably right because you should be right <laughs> because it's at home. Game what three at home. But you just you've been telling me the whole series. They terrible at home. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> I am hanging my hat tonight on the fact that your team lost not one, but two home games to the Milwaukee Bucks. Yes. Then turned right around and lost two home games to the Miami Heat. Yeah. Two playoff home games. That's four in the last two series that this team lost at home. And in those four defeats, they just look so carelessly vulnerable in their own building. Uh, somewhere Larry Bird was rolling his eyes because those Celtic teams, that they didn't lose these kind of home games. No, they Not didn't. like this. But, Skip, they had point guards. They had Tiny Archibald. They, they had did. Dennis Johnson. They had you Legion. Had, yes. Yeah, I mean, so Marcus Smart, Skip, okay. instead of thing, when things are going haywire, that's when Marcus Smart should pull them together. Hey, JT, JB, I'm going to get you an, easy sh I'm gonna get you okay. an easier shot than the shots that you guys have to go one-on-one -on -one and Not try to Not in his skill set. Not what he does. I have boiled down, distilled Marcus Smart to these two parts. He is an all-time great, tenacious defender. Very physical, very fierce-minded. So he's got that going for him, which is why he just won Defensive Player of the yeah. Year. And that is combined on the offensive end with, with nothing more than a streak shooter. He is a streak shooter because yeah. he can get hot. Yeah. He, he can start bombing. He will shoot it without conscience. Mm -hmm. He has no con. He, he will shoot, as we saw down the stretch of Game 7 at Miami. <laughs> Don't remind he me. He missed his last five shots. But he bookended it with, with two free throws and then two free throws to clinch. So he, he started the run that wasn't because he just kept shooting the ball. And I couldn't you, – you want to talk about supreme confidence? He would just say into those two wingmen, his two kids over there, just get, get out. I got this. I got this. <laughs> this is my team, and I'm going to show you it's my year because I'm defensive player of the year, and I'm going to be the clutch closer, and he missed all five shots. Yeah. And they, they weren't really even close. No. And in the end, that's your point guard. It's almost Westbrookian, not that he turns it over quite the way Russ does, but he can go as cold as Russ always is from three, and he, he has no feel for the game the way Russ has no real feel. Actually, Russ has more feel for the game right. because Russ can still get you. He, he averaged seven assists, and right. we've seen him average for the right. previous five years triple-doubles. Mm -hmm. Okay? So Marcus Smart is not capable of averaging a triple-double, certainly getting ten assists a night. No. I, I don't see it at all. In fact, I'll give you this on Jason Tatum, just on, on sheer distributing the basketball. I think he's a better distributor than, than your point guard is. And that is scary. That's a problem. That's though. a big flaw in, in your, your whole system here. Is it, it comes down to the point guard has to get you situated and yes. settled yes. and find the right shot. And, and it's really up to your two wings to, to create their own shot. Right. That's what they that it boils down to that. They they sort of regress to that where, okay, is it your turn or my turn? Right. JB, JT, who, who's going to go? And that's why they turn the ball over so much that because they're, let's try, they're going one on one and a lot of ISO ball skip. But here's the, this is what we know. Okay, JT has to be great because we know Steph is going to give you somewhere between 28 and 32. So it didn't matter the first game because you got great overall production. Al Horford gave you 26. Jalen Brown gave you 24. Uh, Derek White gave you 21. Marcus Smart gave you 18. But if you don't get that kind of team production, someone's going to have to go along with Steph. So. Jason Tatum, he had to match Giannis 44-20 with a 47-7-7 ball game. He did. So if Steph goes for 28-30, Jason Tatum, somebody's got to go along with him. Whether it's JT or Jalen Brown, JB, one of those guys is going to have to go because am I counting on Al Horford to give me another 26-point game skipping this? 
I'm not, I'm not counting on that. I do believe Derek White is due for another somewhere between 14 and 20. Mm. I believe he can give me that. But I believe this is JT. JT money. Really? Yeah. Uh. I give you a case right now, he's going to have at least, at least, at bare minimum, 27. 27. I want a case. I want one case Jason Tatum have 27, at least, at least 27. I told you, I don't do cases on points. Mm -hmm. It's just too unpredictable because he and his running mate are the most unpredictable players in all of basketball. Well, I'm just what I'm predicting. I ain't unpredictable. I'm predicting he has 27 or more. Okay. I'll do 30 or more if you'll give me the three and a half. No, can't Next. do. Okay, now to my my theory that I have espoused to you before, and I'm going <laughs> to drive it home right here, right now, because I think it will manifest itself tonight. You can watch it live on your national television, and that is why these Celtics have home court disadvantage. It's because they have the best crowd in the NBA. It is the most raucous. They blow the roof off that place because... They are so anxious to have another championship. It, it's they want Celtic 18. pride, and, and they've, they, they, they have lived on championships. So, so many of those fans have grown up with the championship feeling. They, they know what it is, and the older fans really know what oh, yeah. it is. And so they're, they're trying to, to just scream it into existence, not speak it, but to scream it into existence. And this team does not respond well to its home crowd because – that th those decibel levels tend to to crush this team instead of inspire it. It, it fails under the pressure. It it, it actually the, the deafening decibels actually seem to hurt the home team more than lift the home team. I, I've seen it again and again. They don't respond well to the home crowd. It, it doesn't lift them. It, it somehow just buries them under its noise, they, under they, its, they, its they, expectations. They, they, they're a young team. They I mean, are. And, and, they, and their, their nucleus is very young. You talk about Marcus Smart, 28, JB, JB is 25, JT is 24. They're a young team. Grant Williams is young. Al is the senior statesman. But the guys that they're counting on to produce the points are very, very young. But you, you smell that? I smell blowout. A blowout? That's <laughs> what I'm smelling right now. That's really? what I'm smelling. I think JT got that thing cooking. I think huh. they probably shoot around right at them maybe a little yeah. later. But I think they went. Okay. Well, then I'm smelling three and a half that you're going to give me because now you are front running over there. What is this Steph front? Sharp. For, for first I'm going to start calling you Steph Sharp. <laughs> you're what front I, running to the point that, th that you've even gone all the way to blowout. I feel comfortable. I, I, I just feel that coming on. Okay. I feel that coming on. Skip, y'all do the... the, the uh, the Warriors are due for a bad shooting game. Y'all due for one. What, what I've seen two off games from Clay Thompson, right? The, the, and with more to come. More to come? Yep. Well, at some point, he's going to break way out, and he's going to break you in half. I mean, and, and he knows it because what is he doing? He's like, I'm watching old film of Game 6 Clay, and I'm watching all these old tapes. I'm watching YouTube. So he knows it. Mm. He's well aware of it. We don't have to mention it. Mm. But JT... He got you. You think the man's gonna continue? He gonna three, shoot three or seventeen again? You think it? Is that what you're thinking? I just think that this team does not play well at home. But they play well this tonight. This team is shaky at home. This team doesn't trust itself at home. And I believe that Steph is even better on the road than he is at home because he loves to play to the crowd by shutting the crowd down on the road. I trust him much more to have a big game than your kids to have a big game starting with Jason Tate. We're going to get out of having one of the most 34, 34, 36 point first quarters. Yeah. And never look back. Really? Okay, no, well, give me the three and a half and I'm good to go. I'm not giving you nothing. Why not? Because you didn't accept them. You, hold on. You just got me. I didn't give you no, you didn't want to give me no any points. You never give me points. You after, always want to go okay. straight up. That's after you propose the bet so? because you're front running, and then you say, <laughs> in, in hindsight, you say, "I want the points." Well, yeah. you didn't ask for the points. Well, well, you didn't ask for them yesterday. Okay, so why you want I'm, them now? I'm just reacting to your overconfidence. Yeah, I, right now. I feel confident in my pick. That's why I made the selection, knowing that you weren't going to give me didn't didn't want the three point because you beat your chest. Yeah, he finally showed up, and Clay mm. gonna do this. You was all all, all gung ho. Mm. Now you worry. Mm. I'm worried about your Celtics. Okay. This isn't such the, the kind of game that Golden State wins. This is the kind of game that Boston loses by spitting the bit, by by spitting the basketball all over the floor, which they are want to do. You know it, and I know it. JT, 
They won it too badly. They tried too hard. They tried to live up to home crowd expectations, and they crumble. And guess what? Draymond going to try to push the envelope again. Mm. He won't be as fortunate Wednesday as he was oh. Sunday with those antics. Oh, so we are talking ejection? I'm just saying, he better don't, don't tempt fate. Mm. Okay. All right, you got this. We'll, we'll see if by the end of the show you got it so much that you give me the three and a half. No, I'm not giving you the three and a half. Because I'm, not doing I'm, I'm smelling uh, uh, photo finish tonight because maybe I just need a photo finish. That's what you need. Yeah, I just need to see one. But, you, but you've seen us operate down the stretch. We mm -hmm. find a way to win games like that. Oh, do you? Yeah, remember Marcus Brooklyn? Martin remember Cole? Brooklyn? Y'all yeah. had the lead and we went and got it from you? Yeah, yeah I, I remember terrible plays by Kyrie where he didn't defend Jason Tatum uh, and that, shoot a layup. That, was, that, was, that wasn't even his man. Mm -hmm. That Jason Tatum man, belo Jason Tatum belonged to somebody else. I'm not mm -hmm. going to tell you who man it was, mm -hmm. but you know who it was because you saw it. You showed the video mm -hmm. of whose man Jason Tatum was. Best player on the planet. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, you, but uh, what you just said, you said it was Kyrie's fault. Well, Kyrie, you, you got to help a little bit. Uh, you, you well, help like, what? Make, make a, you have to try. Go, James didn't need no help when he was in the prime yeah. playing D like that. Who helped him? Uh, help how, yourself. How about J.R. Smith on the bicycle <laughs> built for two on the greatest block in finals history that was set up by J.R. Oh Smith? Thank you very much. Cutting off Iggy at the pass. Iggy wasn't going to get that shot up mm. anyway. Yeah, Skip to your point about the home it. crowd in Boston tonight. It will probably be electric. The most expensive ticket in Boston sports history, the cheapest wow. one, upwards of $700 already. Mm. Thank you for watching. You can subscribe here to get the latest from the show and be sure to check out more of the best clips from Undisputed or go watch a few other segments from our other shows on FS1.